expected to hear that hear from him. Killer Cross, many people thought, was sending a message that wasn't going to be heard, but it's loud and clear that message was heard by John Moxley. And he is here. He looks ready. This place, the roof is absolutely blown off. I don't even know if Killer Cross is ready to compete against him. What a surprise this is. Cross trying to uh, prevent Moxley from moving into the full mount position. And look at both these men back to the vertical face, and Cross is being pushed into the ropes by Moxley, who muscles him up and drives him down hard. And neither guy has slowed down one bit, hold after hold, suplex after suplex, and that is after they brawled all through the FSW arena. And after Killer Cross has already competed against a legend like Dan Severn and knocked him out. A nice full guard here is Moxley. <laughs> he left a little expletive loose. He might not be familiar with this uh, transition. 
And the crowd really behind both guys is Las Vegas talent That's really on, on display right now. Just, they're just in disbelief this match is even happening. And Moxley drops him. The back of Cross's head hit hard. That's one way to get out of the hole. And Mox with a running knee may have KO Cross. Cross was hurt. He might be out. He's stirring. Grimes is counting. Cross has got to get some type of width about him. Even if he does recover, he might not know where he is. That was a vicious knee strike. Yeah, he might be in another part of Vegas right now. He might not know he's in the ring with John Moxley. Did you see the smoke show trying to urge him on Scarlett Bordeaux, urging on Cross here. And look at, just take a Cross down instantaneously the moment he got to his feet. I think Moxley's got a good game plan here now that the adrenaline's slightly worn up. He's got to grind Cross down. Now that he's got a Muzi. Exactly, the shock value. Cross didn't know Moxley was going to be here for this fight. And Moxley now, now driving those elbows right into the skull. In that crucifix position. There's no defense. Cross! There's no defense in that crucifix. Yeah, you can't defend yourself when it's a... Austin Grant's right on top of things. He says Cross says he's not quitting. Cross has got to shake off some cobwebs here. Moxley is getting the better of these strikes on the ground. And I have never seen Cross laid out like this. He's been absolutely dominated in this section of the fight here as uh, Moxley's been all over it since that big knee. Moxley now stalking Cross and hits another one knee, this time without a knee pad. And he drops that double arm DDT right into a guillotine. Right into that choke and he's got him. Cross trying to rotate the hips, fight the hands. He's got to get out of this or he's going to sleep. How is Cross going to be able to try to counter this? What should he do here in this situation? As you see, is Moxley really getting extra leverage, putting his forehead straight to the mat. The one problem here is if you don't finish a guy like Cross, you can blow your arms out, holding on to this squeeze. And you see Cross powering through. What an absolute monster killer Cross is. But Moxley holds on. Oh, and you see, that's one way to loosen up a hold here, is they got him in the in the corner. Oh, and Cross back down, because Moxley Looks like just legs, such a death grip. Legs might have gave way there. That submission really taking its toll here as he's restricting the breathing. Might not be underneath the chin on the neck, but it's definitely right over the mouth area. As you see, it's restricting that breathing. And look at the face of Cross. Look at the intensity. He does not want to be defeated in an impromptu main event on his own event. Yeah, surprise or not, he came to fight. Moxley is ready for this. Cross definitely doesn't want to give up on his own night here. Could you imagine going from beating a legend like Dan Severn to being in a dog fight with John Moxley in just a matter of seconds? Butterfly suplex just drills Cross. Bold men down here as Moxley might be down just from pure exhaustion. Both these men giving it their all here. John Moxley in the FSW arena. Killer Cross asked for this, but did he really want it? Now that it's actually happening. Both guys coming to life here. Oh, and Cross oh. lands a big knee. He timed the shot. That was a perfect knee and a big question mark kick right at the side of the head of Mox. And now Cross has got him down. Now referee Austin Grimes applying the count. John Moxley gonna need those ropes to get back to a vertical base, but even the ropes might not be able to help him. He's gotta get to a legit fighting stance to be considered on his feet. You cannot be held up by the ropes. That will not stop the count. You see Cross admiring his work here as he knows that Kyoka Shinkai kick that he just- And Moxley's oh! up! And more dangerous than ever! And that Lariat just took Cross off his feet! Was that the last ounce of energy, the last person's strength left in John Moxley's body? We're gonna find out if Cross doesn't get back up. If it was worth it. It could have been just pure desperation, but it just absolutely tattooed Killer Cross. Both guys struggling to get to their feet. And what a surprise here tonight at Natural Point Killers. John Moxley showing up to answer that lunatic challenge. Both men but here cross, to throw down. Cross actually back to his feet first after being delivered that hard lariat by Moxley. 
And now it's like two old gunmen in the West. Who's got the best shot? Throw some leather here in the middle of the ring. Nothing fancy about this. Oh! Maybe nothing fancy, but also no respect. You see some big knees from that tie clinch. As Cross hits the ropes, he's going to go low with those tie kicks. Cross missing it. Moxley hits it. Tried that double arm this time. Doomsday! Moxley staggers back to his feet, but no! Both men are down. They are busting out their heavy artillery in this floor, but who's got more weapons left in the arsenal? This could be it for both men as they're absolutely spent. They have not stopped for one second. It has been pedal to the metal from the very beginning, beating each other, pulling the post all over the arena. Everyone in this building's eyes are glued to the ring. They haven't looked away for a second because they are witnessing history. And wow, both men not able to answer the, the 10 count. Referee Austin Grimes is It might not be what the fans wanted, but that is the only decision both guys were It's not what down. the fans wanted. It's not what these athletes wanted. John Moxley and Killer Cross want to tear each other apart. Here they want to the declare whose city this is. Who owns Las Vegas? Is it Killer Cross or is it John Moxley? And I don't think there's a safe goal in the ring when these two want to tear each other apart. There's no way to get control of these two guys if they want to go overtime here. I don't envy security right now.